Hi, this is Riff G. Thanks for joining me today. This video is about how I expanded my HP 15U010DX model from 8GB of DDR3 RAM to 16GB of DDR3 RAM. This video is going to show you how I did it, so let's get started. The HP 15U010DX model came with 8GB of DDR3 RAM from the factory. It is expandable to 16 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM. The proper chip for this model is 1600 megahertz C11 1.35 volt 8 gigabyte DDR3. One of the best things you can do is have something to put your screws in because we're going to be removing all of the little screws in the back side of this laptop. Okay, now I have removed all of the screws, including the ones behind the little rubber caps. And also, I had to remove the little rubber piece here and here where the feet were to get to those screws. You need to make sure you get those. They make special tools for opening up laptops. I don't have one, so I had this paint can opener. It's got a nice little bend to it, so I was able to pry underneath the little opening and work it around to get it to open. Now this is a tricky part, probably one of the most difficult parts of this whole project. However, after a little bit of time and some patience, I managed to get things opened up. I did have to open up the front to get it all the way off, as you'll see here. So now I just keep working along the edge, popping it open little by little until I get all the way around. Okay, here it is. We have it open. We just have to point out a couple of things real quick. There's a cable right here. When the laptop is closed, it plugs in up there. You can see there's a little spot right there. There's little black flap clips that pop up and you stick it right in just like that when the laptop's closed. You have to sandwich it up a little bit in order for these to meet. Same thing with this one. Flips up and this one plugs into it. And then there's this one here. It plugs in right there. So just make sure you take your time as you're doing this and it's not a bad idea to take some pictures when you're going along before you go ahead and disconnect anything. So you have a reference. Okay, so moving on to the next step, we have to figure out where the DDR RAM slot is. And I don't see it anywhere on this side of the laptop. So what we're going to have to do is remove the hard drive, remove the motherboard, remove the fan in order to flip the motherboard over. And that's where the DDR RAM slot is going to be. Let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is remove the hard drive. There's two screws holding it in and then a little clip for the data cable. Okay. 
After you remove the two screws from holding the hard drive in, just toggle this little clip up and remove the hard drive. Locate and remove the screws that are holding in the motherboard. Remove the screw that holds in the CPU chipset. Disconnect the fan switch cable. Cable. Remove the three screws holding in the fan. Remove the fan. Just place it out of your way. Disconnect the chipset before you flip the motherboard over. Now carefully flip the motherboard over to reveal the DDR RAM slots. This is where you insert the DDR3 RAM chipset. It goes in one way with the small side on one and the large side on the other with the chips facing up. Go ahead and blow off the motherboard with some compressed air to get a good clean connection before you insert it if you like. I went ahead and cleaned up the rest of the computer board and the heat sinks and the fan with the compressed air while I had everything opened up. It was just a good time to do a little bit of preventative maintenance. Now when you're ready to put the DDR RAM chip in, put it in on an angle and then snap it down in. And now we're ready to put everything back together. So go ahead and put the chipset back in. Snap it in carefully before you put the motherboard back down. Carefully put the motherboard back into place. Make sure your screw holes line up. Also make sure that the ducting for the heat sink snaps into place. And all your ports are properly aligned with the outside of the laptop case. Put your fan back into place. Realign your fan power wire back to the position it was in before you remove the motherboard. Reinstall the screws to hold the fan in place. Reconnect the fan power cord to the motherboard. Just make sure all your wires are tucked back into place nice and neatly the way they were before. Now it's time to reinsert all the screws back into the motherboard. Put the screw back in to hold the CPU chipset back in place. Continue putting in all the motherboard screws. Reconnect the sound card cable. Continue installing all the motherboard screws. After double checking that all your screws are in place, it's time to install the hard drive.
once again just make sure all your wires are tucked in to the places they were before put your screws back in for holding your hard drive in place double check all your connections check all your screws make sure no wires pinched It's time to close it up now. Here's the tricky part, connecting the wires that have to meet each other as you close it. Sorry, this is difficult. I'm trying to do it in a way that I can show it to you. Before I put all the screws back in the back side of it, I want to make sure that it turns on and everything's working. Here's the moment of truth. All right, it turned on and it recognized the new RAM. Mission complete. Just got to put the screws back in the back side.